Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Friday, January the 6th, 2023, and this is episode 3968. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, Sleep. Stay tuned. Sleep. Do you like sleep? (laughs) Do you enjoy a good night's sleep? When I got up this morning, my wife said, did you hear our neighbors last night? Now, we live in an apartment complex, and we love being connected to students at the university here. And and um, I said, no, I, I didn't hear them. She said, at 2.30, they were walking all over the apartment. Sleep is important, is it not? Uh, there are special pillows, uh, special uh, mattresses, uh, My wife and I take melatonin. It's supposed to help you (laughs) sleep better. Special uh, pillows. All kinds of things about sleep. Now, I want to read to you Psalm 4, and then I want to make some comments on verse 8. Are you ready? Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You have relieved me in my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long, O you sons of men, will you turn my glory to shame? How long will you love worthlessness and seek falsehood? But know that God has set apart for himself him who is godly. The Lord will hear when I call to him. Be angry and do not sin. Meditate within your heart on your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness, and put your trust in God. There are many who say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart more than in the season that their grain and wine increased. I will both lie down in peace and sleep for you alone, O Lord. Make me dwell in safely. Now, I love what verse 4 says meditate within your heart on your bed and be still. Verse 8 I will both lie down in peace and sleep for you alone, O Lord. Make me dwell in safely. When we lay our heads on the pillow at night, the only security we have is God's presence. For all of our security systems, yearly physicals, savings accounts, pension plans, the only real peace we can find comes from knowing that he will never, we will never face life alone. God will always be there with us. And David understood this. As a soldier, he carried swords. As a general, he had an army. As a king, he had guards. But what he knew in his heart was that only God's presence was the true source of peace. What about you? Have you begun to experience this peace? Becoming a believer didn't erase all your problems or change the world to a rosy shade of rose, (laughs) but becoming a believer does put you in the lap of one who will protect you, watch over you, and help us through our problems and make us a better person because of them. You can rest in peace knowing that you will never be alone again. God is watching over you. I will both lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Father, thank you so much 
for the sleep that we can have. <laughs> no matter whether you're a back sleeper, a front sleeper, a side sleeper, Lord, we look to you. We meditate upon you. Thank you, Father, for this day, the opportunities it will bring. Thank you for your faithfulness throughout this week. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great weekend and a great Friday. Until next week, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.